sharp designs by lakeisha why i am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same so today i am back in atlanta and today we found out that we have a new president so keeping my fingers crossed to see how things go but i am back here in atlanta because i have a baby shower backslash third birthday party i believe they're kind of combining everything into one event excuse my husband if you hear him in the background there is a georgia game on and of course we're going for the bulldogs but i have to get started because my event is on tomorrow and i wanted to share with you guys that i am trying out different balloon vendors and balloons for you guys my next vlog will more than likely be a vlog on where to purchase your balloons from um, but I wanted to share with you guys that I am try I'm trying out some, um, I don't know how to, I guess it's Gmar or Jamar, Gmar balloons. I've been trying out Tough Tech, got some Sempertex balloons as well as Qualitex. Those are the four main brands that I have been, um, I'm working with for this garland and I used on my last vlog as well. If you didn't check that out, I did try out some Tough Tech for the first time. I absolutely love the balloon so far. So in my next vlog i'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown on what i think about the balloons different um the quality where to buy them from and all of that so stay tuned for that but what i want to show you guys um what i'm about to do now is basically starting the balloons i wanted to go ahead and get an intro done because i'm not sure how crazy tomorrow's going to be i'm going to get there a few hours before the event and do most of the work there so i'm going to get a little bit of work done tonight i've already made two bags full of clusters that i'll show you guys later um but, but i'm gonna go ahead and start blowing up balloons and i will see you guys in a bit hey guys so i'm back um it literally took me maybe 20 15 20 minutes to blow up the balloons i'm about to show you but i wanted to show you guys what the inspiration for today's vlog is and if you're wondering we're at my husband's aunt house we're staying with her for this weekend to spend some time with her since we haven't been home um since the last few times i've been home we hadn't seen her but i want to show you guys the inspir one of the inspiration picks that i was given for this party set up this is the inspiration here these colors on this rainbow i'm gonna show y'all the balloons that i just blew up and let me know what you think if they match um for the most part i got most of them so these are the balloons we have this um this is the sempertex white sand i have uh tough text burnt orange i have gmar is this chocolate brown I think that's Gmar chocolate brown. Then I have some Qualitex mm -hmm. copper and some. This is the shiny rose gold by what is this? Gmar. Um. So yeah, nice little combo of all the colors. So what I'm gonna do is get those strung up, and I do have two sixties this time so i'm going to be using these 260 balloons here by sempertex this is the white sand color that i mentioned to you guys and i'm going to string my whole garland together using these instead of fishing line which again i mentioned to you guys before i feel like the 260 balloons work a lot better when making your garlands than the fishing line I, I did notice that with the fishing line it tends if you pull it too hard it will cause the balloon to um, pierce sometime and so you'll lose one or two balloons when you make your garland which isn't a big deal but it is kind of annoying especially when you have a certain amount of balloons um, so I did start using these a while back the 260s to make the garlands and it works a whole lot better because it's basically the same material rubber on rubber and so it's not like ripping the hole or doing anything crazy to the balloons if that makes sense so i'm gonna start on that i'm gonna show you guys briefly how i do that and i'm gonna plan to do a start to finish balloon garland like i used to do um before because my technique has changed all of those techniques are still fine and they work fine but i have changed a lot which you will probably change once you get into making balloons but let's go ahead and get this garland um show you guys how to do this all right, so the lighting isn't the best, but I'm going to show you guys some more tomorrow in detail. Um, but I'm at the end of the line with this first 260 that I used to start. Um, but I can show you really quickly. I'm going to take the 260, wrap it around the new cluster. And this is a new cluster because I'm adding it to the existing garland. So I'm going to put it over to lock it in place, bring it around, bring it back around the other side, and bring it back up in the middle. And then I like to go around again for good measure. And then because this one is at the end, I'm going to go ahead and end it here by tying it in a knot around this here. A bag? No, I don't need these. These not going to fit in the bag. Okay. Yeah. And 
and then now that I have it on a knot, I'm just gonna add another, take another 260 balloon, oh, this light, and attach it. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I'll probably have to show you guys tomorrow or more. I'm just tying it in a knot to link them together. Tie it tight, and I'm gonna double tie it. And now I can keep going. So I'm gonna add more. I think this is enough of the tan. I think the next color was gonna be this one here. So I'm just gonna place, find a spot for it. Cross, oh, can you guys see that good? Found a new spot for it here. Take the 260, cross it over top to lock it in place. Bring it back around one of the existing balloons. Figure eight, give it a slight tug, and we'll wrap it around with a measure. Got another cluster here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to this spot up here. Over the new, around an existing center, slight move around for good measure. Same thing, new cluster on top of it, over the new, back around here. In the center, the measure. And what you can see right now is it doesn't really have anything fancy going on. It's just a basic garland. Mm -hmm. And that's because I'm not gonna give it a lot of texture and dimension until after with all the clusters that I've made. So right now I'm just gonna keep building this and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. So this is what I've done so far. I did it in two pieces so that it'll fit in the truck that I rented. And to connect these two pieces, I did leave a 260 balloon sticking out right here to attach these two on tomorrow. And this is for the dessert cart. So I'm done for the night. I think this is all that's gonna fit in there with the two black, two big bags of clusters that I've already made. So I'm just gonna add in these huge clusters I made to the garland using 260 balloons and I'm done for the night. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. All right, guys, today is party day. The first thing I'm going to do is get the dessert cart all set up. And what I'm doing in this clip here is taking the clusters that I prepped on yesterday and adding them to 260 balloons so that I can start adding them into the garland to begin to add that texture and dimension to it. All right, guys, so this is the super cute dessert cart that she rented for her daughter's third birthday set up. Don't kill me, but I did go ahead and get the garland attached when I first got there because the wind, as you can see, is blowing like crazy and it was blowing the balloon, so I had to hurry up and get it attached and I completely forgot to get the camera positioned so you guys can see it. But it was very simple. All I did was take a one command hook and place it at the top where the copper balloons are. And then I took a 260 balloon and adhered the garland to the command hook, which kept that in place. I then took a 260 balloon and attached the balloon garland in the center on one of the poles, which you can visibly see on the left there. And then down towards the bottom, closer to where there are wheels at, I used another 260 balloon to adhere it to that. And that kept it pretty snug and in place to stop the wind from blowing it away. And then once I got the base for the garland all good and secure, I then began adding in my clusters, which I am doing with 260 balloons. I did do a video just completely on how that process works as far as creating the clusters, getting the various sizes, and adding the 260. So if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. Step by step on how to create your clusters to give your garland texture and dimension. Also see that I have all of my balloons in a suitcase. That's how I got them here, guys. They flew over with me, of course. As you can see, I am pulling my clusters out of that large black bag. That is where I store them at after prepping them the night before. I think it's very important to do that process beforehand and not on site unless you just have a ton of time because that is the most tedious process of creating a balloon garland blown those five inch balloons are not as easy as doing the 12 inches especially when you're trying to get different sizes in your clusters which i think is very important for that dim dimension and texture to stand out and this is how that came out guys i ended up adding another piece to the cluster to cover the remainder of the top of the cart but it came out super cute all right, so now I have to do some for this from scratch from here. Only thing I have is five inches, so 
gonna be blown up in that corner over there so I can do enough to stretch across here. So there wasn't enough room in the vehicle that I was driving in order to put both the balloon structure for the cart as well as the baby marquee letter. So the baby marquee letters balloon structure I had to create from scratch on site. So as you guys see, there is a bench behind the baby marquee letters. That's what I'm going to use to attach the balloon structure that I'm going to create. I'm basically going to take the 260 balloon and take it in between my cluster and meet both ends down on the bottom of the bench and then just tie that in a knot, which is going to secure. And then I'm going to continue to build out my balloon garland using the 260 balloons. As you can see, I left the 260 balloon sticking out so that way I can attach my next cluster to the garland and continue to build out. And I will continue to do that the same way that I created my garlands earlier. When the 260 runs out, I'll attach another one to it and keep it going. The wind was blowing so hard on this day, so I'm glad that I opted to do that with the bench because by going and doing the balloon garland in pieces and attaching it, I was able to secure the garland to the bench without all of my balloons blowing all over the place. If you can't make it to a venue to physically see where you're going to be setting up, it's always good to ask your client for pictures so that way you can be prepared. So I did know that this bench was there beforehand. And it also goes to show that you can sometimes use what's already on location and you don't necessarily have to buy or bring any extra inventory in order to create balloon installations. So in order to continue the garland, I just continued this same process of creating one or two clusters at a time depending on how big they were and then I would go over and attach them individually to the 260 balloons until I basically got all the way across. Um, this actually worked out very well because I said earlier the wind was blowing like crazy and I was able to ensure that this would stay in place after I left um, so I just made sure to add enough 260 balloons across there as I was building it every I guess every foot or so in order to make sure that it was very secure to the bench and it wouldn't blow over with the wind. This mocha brown is one of my favorite balloon colors that I've worked with and unfortunately because everyone <laughs> seems to be doing balloons or because of COVID I couldn't find it in five inches so as you'll see later I just use these 17 inches to create the entire setup for the mocha section. Oh Lord. Anyone else hate when that happens? <laughs> I totally hate when that happens, but anywho, here I am again attaching the clusters to the 260 as I continue to link this structure together. And then I'm going to take a 260 balloon at this point and secure it around the bench by tying a knot on the bottom after placing it in between the cluster. So it was easy peasy. And this is what we've got done so far, guys. Finally made it to the end of the bench and adding in my final 260 to attach it and now it's time to build upwards. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit higher to hide some more of the window. So that I could somewhat control the way that the garland um, was going to be shaped once I started to build on it. Instead of just building a whole nother garland to add on top of that one, I opted to use the 260 balloons on individual clusters and just loop them around various balloons to continue to add height. And once I got the balloon structure to the height that I wanted it to be, I added some more clusters down in between the letters to continue to fill that out and I did that by just creating um, clusters and using the 260 balloons to continue to add them into what was already there as if I was making a garland. 
and I continued that same process in between each letter and I opted to use each color that was in the balloon structure so that each one kind of had their own section in between the letters which worked out perfectly for the number of letters in this marquee setup. All right, so now that this part is all done, she wanted it pretty high. I think that's as high as we're gonna be able to get it without it falling over. So now I'm gonna go in and add in some clusters, probably do a little more filling around the top and I'll be done. And this is how the cart looks. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little cluster over there of cuteness. Sleepovers, picnics, and glamping company here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we got to do an event here with Lakeisha, and she said we could show you guys all of our hard work. Uh, you can follow us at sleepoversandco.atl on Instagram, and please go check out our new website at sleepoversandco.com. later since the event I didn't have time to close because me and Coda had to rush to the airport after I set up to come see mom hi and Coda's back here playing on her Gigi's phone say hi she got her hair braided again by her auntie Marche and Gigi is taking her to get a tablet a new big girl tablet we're actually leaving today in a little while, so we're gonna get this, and then we have to go to the plane shortly after. Yeah. Check back in with you guys later. I'm a poppy man. You want a poppy one? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to buy you another one, because this spring will have to be raggy. You're gonna lose anything. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? On your march, get set, go. You win, you win, where you going? Ah. <laughs> Ho, why don't you show them which tablet you got? Show them which tablet you got. I got that. Uh, Which one did Gigi just get you? You got this one. Got you a big girl tablet. No more Kindle. It's the Samsung. She got the 10 inch. 32 gigs. Hopefully that's enough for her. Gigi's over here paying. Uh, mommy. You go tell Gigi thank you. On into Hobby Lobby to get mommy a tree skirt. We just started decorating her tree today. So these are our options. What you thinking? White fluff or this one color is pretty right here. 
You like that color? Okay. Who's on the ground? Who's on, baby? Huh? That's how much they got. They 50% off, though. So it'll be 25. Who's on, baby? Who you think that one? I think that color might be the best because white is still. Oh, that one's pretty too, though. You like this one? This look more like you anyway. Yeah. Here you go, baby. I think it kind of goes with the whole peacock vibe. Oh, she's showing you the stockings. Oh. Why don't you get your grandbaby some stockings? For what? I don't know. I know Nana probably crazy about this. Yeah, Milan gonna love the unicorn. You gotta pick one coda. You gotta get Elsa or the princesses. Which one? You can't get both, baby. And what you gonna get, Kale? They got Minions, Mickey, Paw Patrol. No. Oh, Kale probably like this. You like this though? Avengers? Yeah. That's Black Panther and all of them on there. Come on, Coda. That's the one you want? You, you don't, don't want Elsa? One? You done turn Elsa in? All right. 